Hey everyone, tonight we have Black Klansman, Ron Stallworth's memoir. The extraordinary true story of a black police officer who goes undercover to investigate the KKK, the basis for the forthcoming major motion picture directed by Spike Lee and produced by Jordan Peele. When Detective Ron Stallworth, the first black detective in the history of the Colorado Springs Police Department, comes across a classified ad in the local paper asking all those wanting to join the Ku Klux Klan to contact a P.O. box, he responds with interest. He figures he'll receive a few brochures in the mail, maybe even a magazine, and learn more about a growing threat to his community. A few weeks later, the office phone rings, and the caller asks Ron a question he thought he'd never have to answer. Would you like to join the cause? This is 1978, and the KKK is on the rise in the United States. Its grand wizard, David Duke, has made a name for himself appearing on talk shows and in major magazine interviews preaching a kinder clan that wants nothing more than to preserve its heritage. Ron answers the caller's question that night with a yes, launching what is surely one of the most audacious and incredible undercover investigations in history. Ron recruits his partner Chuck to play the white Ron Stallworth, while Stallworth himself conducts all subsequent phone conversations. During the months-long investigation, Stallworth sabotages cross burnings, exposes white supremacists in the military, and even manages to deceive David Duke himself. So there's an author's note, 11 chapters, afterward and acknowledgements. So it starts right at the beginning of the investigation, all the way up to the end. And in between he'll chip in about information about his past and about him growing up. And other various tidbits about his life. And reading the book, after watching the film, it's, it's remarkably similar. How the film portrayed the, the memoirs is very, very faithful. With, of course, the obvious Hollywood changes you would expect to make things a little more spicy. But other than that, it's very, very faithful to this book. So here's a picture of Ron Stallworth and his policeman's ID. And here's a more recent picture of him on the back here. Here's a picture from the Stokely Carmichael speech, where Ron's first undercover gig was. Here's Ron's Ku Klux Klan application form, with his undercover partner Chuck sitting in for him. And Ron Stallworth's membership card to the Ku Klux Klan. That's wild. Newspaper clippings of protest marches, clan marches. There's Chuck again sitting in for Ron Stallworth, sitting with the 
the Grand Wizard, David Duke. It's crazy how much David Duke looks like Topher Grace, who plays him in the film. They picked the right guy to play him. Overall, this was very, very interesting to read. Especially after watching the film, how it folded so closely. That was very nice to see. Let's see, it's not too long. It comes in at 191 pages. So it was a nice little read. Very interesting. If you enjoy true stories, I would recommend this one.